Building your own utility trailers DIY tips and tricks. Before creating your utility trailers, it's essential that you understand both their maximum towing capacity and dimensions. You will also require various materials angle irons, pressure treated boards for building the bed, as well as a tail light kit in addition to tools. Do not forget to allow for the installation of fenders, otherwise, you will scare passersby drivers. Decide on the layout. As part of building utility trailers, one of the first steps should be deciding on its layout. This will determine what kinds of loads can be held within it and its maximum carrying weight capacity. Furthermore, you should decide if you prefer an open or enclosed trailer. For expensive equipment it's advisable to opt for an enclosed option to protect from theft and weather elements. The next step in building a utility trailer is collecting the necessary materials. Some may be easily available while others could require more searching. Utility trailer plans with blueprints and parts lists can help in identifying which pieces you require as well as the cost. You can even find free online tutorials which demonstrate how to construct one from scratch. Quality trailer parts are essential to its long-term stability and should always be the priority when choosing new components for your trailer. To stretch your budget further, used parts can often be found at garage sales or flea markets just ensure the condition of the item prior to purchasing. Don't buy anything rusty or broken. As part of your trailer purchase decision-making process, be sure to select wheels and axles capable of supporting the load you intend on transporting. This is especially important if your plan involves taking it off-road or through areas with deep ruts or mud. Then larger wheels that can endure these conditions would be beneficial. Once again, wood or steel will need to be the choice of material for your trailer's frame. Steel is typically more costly and stronger, wood is lighter but won't last as long. If using wood as your frame material, ensure it is rot resistant and moisture proof. Additionally refinish or paint it regularly to protect it against moisture damage and prevent rot from developing further. Gather your materials. Your trailer build can go more smoothly when equipped with the appropriate tools and materials, including having an ample workspace to accommodate all the scrap metal, wood and scrap that accumulates during construction. A clean space may also prove invaluable when operating power tools such as drills, cutters and welding machines safely this will lower risks such as tripping over an unattended component left lying around or being injured due to negligence on someone's part. Once you have your work area and tools organized, begin gathering materials for building your utility trailer. Your materials requirements will depend on their intended use, for example, if it will be used to haul equipment you will require plenty of metal sheets for structural support while for moving materials around your property a small and light trailer would suffice. If you need to transport something over longer distances, a larger and heavier trailer may be required. Steel is the material most frequently used in trailer construction because it's relatively cheap yet strong. However there are numerous other types of materials which may also be suitable. If unsure which option would best meet your needs it is wise to consult an experienced professional who will discuss all available choices with you and help guide your decision making. Another viable option is purchasing a used trailer that can easily be customized to meet your unique requirements, which may be significantly cheaper than purchasing new. Before making this decision, however, be sure to read up on local laws regarding homemade trailers as this decision may depend on local laws. For example, when purchasing a used jet ski trailer it may be necessary to secure both a license plate and annual tags in order to legally tow it on public roads. As soon as this decision has been made it's advisable to contact your local department of motor vehicles in order to learn more about what's necessary. Design the frame. Planning ahead and outlining exactly what your utility trailer should do before starting construction can help ensure it will meet all your needs. Making last-minute changes or changing direction halfway through will cost money and reduce effectiveness that is why having plans drawn up by an expert is invaluable. Designing your trailer using a plan will provide the assurance that what you are creating is strong enough to bear the load you intend to transport, and help prevent common mistakes like cutting too much metal or not enough, or leaving too much or too little space between beams. Utilizing SolidWorks WeldMent software makes this process seamless so that you can build the ideal trailer for yourself. Start by laying out the footprint of your trailer on a flat surface. This will enable you to understand how big of a trailer you can build as well as plan where axles or hubs should go separately, which you will also have to purchase separately. It also enables you to check that the frame is square by measuring from corner to corner using either tape measure, framing square, or fixture blocks is easier for this process. These blocks attach to the surface defining a beam, V, and to the main trailer frame members forcing them into vertical and parallel alignment for greater strength and stability. 
Once your frame is finished, you can add pressure-treated boards for use as the trailer bed floor. Most trailers feature a tongue that connects to your vehicle's hitch on the rear to support load. To further strengthen and extend durability it is wise to reinforce this with additional bracing for extra support. Your next step should be adding a tail light kit and any necessary accessories like D-rings to your trailer. Many parts for trailers can be found at discount stores or online, as well as used axles and wheels which could save some money, although be sure to shop around first for the best prices and quality. Start welding. No matter your welding expertise or experience level, a trailer's strength depends on its components. While some parts can be purchased as kits to assemble yourself, others need to be found separately for instance axle kits, wheels and hubs, lighting kits etc. If cost savings is an important consideration then purchasing used components from other trailers might also help however be cautious to ensure that these are in good condition as this can save some cash. Trailer frames must be constructed out of angle iron rods. Purchase an appropriate length for your trailer and mitre the corners so they meet at a 45 degree angle. After mitering them, tack weld corner rods together. Cut two 2x6 pressure treated boards to fit inside the lip of an angle iron frame to form the bed floor for your trailer. Alternately, metal paneling commonly sold as metal mesh but some manufacturers refer to it as expanded steel may also work. You can either bolt this material directly to the frame of your trailer or weld it permanently. Welding will significantly decrease its towing limit. Importantly, any part of your trailer that may come under substantial stress should not be welded.